Today I'm going to show you how to create a video in Canva completely free and for today's tutorial we are going to create an Instagram Reel. So if you are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. First thing that you would like to do is to go to the search box here on Canva's homepage and type real. We're going to select the first option and here you will see that Canva already has a bunch of different templates for reels that you can actually use to create your own reels. So this is just to show you that there are a bunch of different styles that you can choose from and also they can actually give you some ideas on content that you can create. So this is it, I just wanted to show you. Most of them are free, you can see if they don't have any label it means that they are free. If you see one with this crown, in this case I'm using right now a Canva Pro account so that's why it says free but this one is available for Canva Pro users and same as this one. So I just wanted to let you know in this case we are going to start with a blank Instagram Reel template so let's click here and Canva is going to open a new document with the exact measurements that we need for our Instagram Reels. And actually before filming this tutorial I already had my footage filmed. I used my phone to film myself and to film my screen because I want to create a little tutorial for an Instagram reel. I suggest that you have a little structure that you know what you need to film before filming so this is easier for you. I also filmed my video in little chunks so I filmed the intro in one video and then I stopped. Then I filmed the outro just to tell people, you know, like a call to action, follow for more tips or something like that. I filmed that other video at the end and then I also filmed my little tutorial in three different batches. So it is easier after to assemble all the video together and to cut little sections that maybe I don't need. So this is just to make our process easier in Canva. So now we're going to start creating our video. So in the background, I want to use a gradient. So we are going to the photos section and type gradient. You will find a bunch of different premium images, but if you go below, you will find some of them that are free. For example, this one, and you just drag it to the background. Now we are going to use a phone frame. So we're going to elements and search for phone frame. This is because I want to have my video inside this phone. I think it looks cool and hopefully will get people's attention. So I'm just going to make it bigger like this, but not big enough so it covers the background. I want to have a slightly gap here so we can see this beautiful gradient. Now I'm going to start inserting my own videos into the phone. So I have my intro video over here just going to drag it inside the phone and then I have another tip over here. So I was researching a little bit before filming this tutorial and I saw that there are some tactics that you can use at the beginning of your video in order to get people's attention and for them to watch your video. What we want is for them to watch it and not to skip. So in this case I used one of the tactics in which you actually come into the scene. Just going to play my video once again to show you. So there was an empty chair and then I come inside the frame. This is one of the tactics. Some other people take their phones and do like a little movement and then they start filming like this. So you see a little movement and this is something that seems to work. Another tip is to add some text kind of like explaining what is the video about or maybe a question. So I think this is easier. People can read really fast and they will stay if they are interested in your content. Another tip, second tip that I want to give you for the beginning of your video is to maybe ask a question or mention a problem and then 
the solution so basically you tell them hey do you have this problem i have the solution in this video this is going to really get people's attention in this case i used a question so did you know that you can create videos in canva like this one and so basically i asked them did you know that you can tac 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 so this is a question that is going to get people's attention. These are a couple of tips that hopefully can get more people to watch your videos. So very easy to apply. Try to do it and let me know how it goes. And the last tip that I also want to give you before continuing with this video editing is that in Reels you can upload videos up to 30 seconds. So when you are filming, try to structure your video or your tutorial in a way that you can fit all the most important information in just 30 seconds or less. So as you see, I have a couple of videos. Maybe I will have to ditch some of them or some sections. So how do we do that? In this case, I already selected my video and in this toolbar, you see the scissors. So let's click here and this will allow us to crop the length of our video. So in this case, there is like one second of the empty chair. I think this can be dropped out. I can crop this section and just show myself like coming into the scene. Also, another thing that I want to add here is that when I filmed this little clip, I asked a question and in the second part of the question, I talk about animations. So that's what I told you to be very structured before filming so you know how are you going to edit and maybe what can you add while you are editing. So basically in this question I tried to stop while filming so I said the question, I did a small pause and then I continue with the end of the question and this is for me to be able to cut the first scene and in the second part of the video I will be able to add some animations when I'm mentioning the animations. So basically what I need to do here is just to play and try to find the gap where I stop talking, cut, and then in the second scene I will add the second part of the question. So let's play. Did you know that you can create videos in Canva like this one and also add animations like... So this is my pause. So I said an animations like and then I post. So I'm trying to find this section where I stop talking. Okay, let me see. Did you know that you can create videos in Canva like this one and also add animations like... Perfect. So this is the section where I need to cut. I hit done and then I'm just going to click on this gray area outside my design. And now in this tool, I have some icons that are going to help me add some more scenes to my video. So basically it says duplicate page. And when I click here, I have a duplicate of the first scene. And I do this so I don't have to add again the background image or the phone, stretch it. I have a perfect duplicate of the first page and I just need to change the content of this phone frame. And now I go back to the scissors and I will try to get the section part of the question. So basically I just need to maybe move the selection of the video and try to have the beginning of the second part of the question right here. So let me just try to get it. Perfect. This one? Perfect. And then I don't need this ending part. So I just make sure that I have the right selection. Perfect. So I'm going to crop this section and then hit done. Okay, now that I have my question into two different sections, I'm going to add some animations to the second scene because I'm talking about them. So I'm going to move to the elements category and I'm going to type flowing button. So I found these two elements just a couple of days ago and I think they are very, very nice. So that's why I wanted to show them to you. Going to adjust a tiny bit the size and leave them 
right here. Okay, so now that I have these two sections ready, I'm going to start adding some more scenes so I can include the other sections of my tutorial. I'm just going to duplicate my second scene, delete the elements that I don't need and start adding the other sections of my video. As I already mentioned, I'm just going to keep adjusting here the length of my videos and trying to make my video to be below 30 seconds. And I just remembered that I have two tutorials that I want to recommend you guys in case that you haven't seen them. If you like everything about creating videos, or creating content for Instagram, I have another tutorial in which I teach you how to create videos only using photos or static images. And the other tutorial that you may like is that I teach you how to create a puzzle Instagram feed in Canva. So I'm just going to leave those two videos recommended up here and you can watch them after finishing this tutorial. Meanwhile, I'm going to add a couple of scenes more so I can and insert my other sections of the video and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so I already have inserted my other scenes. I had adjust the length of my videos and one way to check the length of your video is to check these numbers on the preview button. So my video, like all these scenes that we have right here, are going to add up and now my video is going to be 29.9 seconds. So this is perfect because we are below 30 seconds. Before exporting this video, I want to mention two important things. So I have in my background a static image and this is important because when I was trying to create this video at the beginning the first time I had another video as a background. So I'm just going to show you for example let's say this video. I had a video in the background and then another video on top right? So because this video is 6.2 seconds and then the video in the background is 5 or maybe let's say this one it has 15 seconds this may affect our final outcome and maybe the scenes are going to look duplicated so if you are using two videos in the same scene just make sure that the two videos have exactly the same length so for example my video right here where you can see my face is 6.2 seconds try to match the second video or the video in the background to 6.2 or the same length because if not you will have some issues but in this case we used an static image in the background so you are not going to have any issues and then the last thing that I want to mention is that you can also include or insert music directly from Canva. So there is this category in this menu on the left hand side. You can add music. There are a bunch of different premium tracks. You see there is a label right here, but you can also find some free tracks that you can use on your videos. So if you find something that you like, just click on it and the song will be added to your video. In this case, I don't need any song, any music, I'm just going to download the video as it is and later on when I'm going to upload my video to Reels I will add the music that I wish. And now how do we download our video? This is pretty pretty simple, just hit download in this navigation bar on top. Make sure that you are selecting all the pages. If you are not using any premium images, videos or music and you are using a Canva free account, it should look like this and then just hit download. If you are using a Canva Pro account, you can use any premium video, any song and you won't have to pay any extra. So I'm just saying that for the people who are using a Canva free account. I have my video already downloaded into my computer. It's right here. I want you to pay attention to the quality of the video, which I think it's really great. And also that it doesn't have any watermark at all. And I downloaded it for free. So let's play. Did you know that you can create videos in Canva like this one and also add animations like this one? You see the animations? You can do for free and let me show you how. In Canva you have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from, so select the one that you prefer. 
when you are in the Canva editor, you can upload. Okay, so you have an idea of how the video looks and I really hope that you liked this video and all the tips that I gave you. If you liked it, just leave me a thumbs up. This is going to tell YouTube that this video was valuable. And also if you know somebody who wants to learn how to create videos in Canva, share this video with them. This is really, really going to help us out. And if you want to keep learning about Canva, I'm going to leave two tutorials right here that you might be interested in. And also I'm going to leave my Canva profile right here in case that you have a Canva Pro account, you can enjoy all the templates that are there for free. So I guess this is it for today. Have a good day and I guess see you in the next tutorial. Bye!